good evening students today we are going to discuss an important 5 marks question that is diagram based question from study of compounds one question is compulsory now here they have given like this the diagram shows laboratory preparation of pungent smelling gas you have one keyword here pungent smelling gas which is alkaline in nature then what you will understand you will understand that this diagram based question is from ammonia now what are the questions given from this diagram you need to answer the questions first one is name the gas collected in the jar so definitely first one ammonia so we have written the answer here ammonia gas is collected in the jar second question write balanced equation for the above preparation we know that here you have nh4cl as well as calcium hydroxide the starting material so therefore on heating 2NH4Cl plus CaOH2 is on heating gives calcium chloride plus 2 moles of NH3. This is our product and 2 moles water. So balanced equation you need to write practice this equation. Third one. How is this gas collected? See you can observe that the gas will pass through this. This one is calcium oxide for a drying purpose you have. If at all the moisture present here it should not pass through this. So only dry NH3 gas should be collected here. Now what is happening? Ammonia gas will enter into this and then by the downward displacement of air. So very important keyword here. It will displace air down and then settle here. So downward displacement of air ammonia gas is collected. Next. Name the drying agent used. So already we have written here. Calcium oxide is the drying agent. You can also call it as quicklime. Now, how will you find that the jar is full of gas? So how do you find this? Important thing is you have to take wet red litmus paper. Now you know that if you take wet red, lead, red litmus paper will convert into blue. If at all you are having a base. Suppose you bring the red litmus up to this. Now what will happen? If the jar is full of ammonia gas, ammonia will come up to this and if it touches this due to the alkaline or basic nature, what will happen? It will convert into blue. Very simple. If the wet red litmus paper will convert into blue, then you can say that the jar is full of ammonia gas. Hope you have understood this very important 5 marks question. Let us move to second question now. Now question number two in the diagram based questions, they have given this apparatus and uh, preparation of an acid they have mentioned. Fine. So here they have taken diesel funnel through this liquid reagent is added. Now the first question is name the acid prepared by this method. See whenever you see inverted funnel arrangement uh, immediately you can identify that it is HCl preparation. So HCl gas is prepared and then it is soluble in water. So hydrochloric acid you can write hydrochloric acid HCl. Second question. Name the reagents used. What are the reagents used? Actually NaCl was present here. Concentrated H2SO4 is added through diesel funnel. So therefore what are the two reagents you have? Sodium chloride and concentrated H2SO4. Third question. You are using an empty flask here. What is the reason? See empty flask we are using so that when HCl gas is, is prepared it will pass through this and fine here concentrated H2SO4 is there. It will act as a drying agent. So any moisture is there it will trap that and now this dry HCl gas is collected here. You know that HCl gas is heavier than air therefore it will have upward displacement of air. So here, what is the role of empty flask here to collect the HCl gas by upward displacement of air. Now fourth one, what is the drying agent used and why you are choosing only concentrated H2SO4 here. We can answer like this, concentrated H2SO4 is the drying agent what you are using. If you use calcium oxide or phosphorus pentoxide as drying agent that will react with the HCl. So to avoid the reaction, you are using only concentrated H2SO4 which will not react with HCl. Hope you have understood this. Next, fifth question, what is the role of this inverted funnel? 
now if you place this inverted funnel what will happen this water cannot go back into your empty flange that means to prevent the back section of water number one and second one is it will have more surface area here what will happen hcl gas will pass through this and it can be soluble in water and finally what you get you will get aqueous hcl so hydrochloric acid so inverted funnel prevents back section of water and gives more surface area for the absorption of hcl gas for this reason you are using inverted funnel this is your second diagram based question in the next class we will discuss some more five marks questions hope you have understood this copy the solution thank you so much